is good morning Frank from Frank's miniatures remember this one um, this was in the previous video number 45 these are Soviet assault troops and uh, before you say uh, Fubar again Russians no and not Russian Soviets and in that army there were a lot of nationalities so like Kazakhs, Georgians, uh, Uzbeks, Balt Baltic people, etc. So a lot of them were from, well, not Russians. And uh, well, this is a set from Italy uh, from a long time ago. So I don't feel guilty for showing this again. What do I want to show you this day? Um, these are, I have. Well, in the other uh, previous video, there were the machine gun guys, the machine gun team set. Um, I will show you. That was uh, this one and this one with another arm. Um, and now I finished the last two figures, which I will do from this set. It's the flamethrower team. That was this guy and. I've put in this one, but I've exchanged the arm to um, to get to put in another weapon. I will show you in a minute. Um, the flame. Uh, I will get the figure up first. Then it will get clear. Uh, one moment. two figures yeah. you can see here the soldier with the, the flamethrower that is a rock ks3 flamethrower so it's the last version of the rocks um, and this was a soviet flamethrower of course the Russian name is Ranzevui Oknem J KS3 and it weighed about uh, 23 kilos, had a content of 9 liters approximately. The range was about uh, 36 to 45 meters or 50, 40 to 50 yards and the duration of fire was about 6 to 8 seconds, so a few short bursts and it was empty. Um, it had an air cylinder. Um, what can I say more about it? Uh, the flame gun or the projector was worn in a rifle, in the form of a rifle. And it had a large fuel tank and a small pressure cylinder. Yeah, that's what I know about it. Um, and what else can I say? Okay, the the other one that's uh, like a bodyguard right, to, to protect them from uh, from attacking. Um, this one has a PM forty three um, machine pistol, and it has a I believe a P. Um, DP-28 light machine gun. Um, the camouflager did what I already explained in the previous video. Um, what else can I say about it? Okay, the base. Um, let's have a look at the base. The stone is actually cork. Painted it um, German grey and then highlighted it with a lighter gray. So, not much to tell about it, more than what I just said. I think it's it's interesting figures. Um, they are a bit bulky, especially if you uh, compare them to dragon figures or even mini art. Which are even smaller and th and slimmer, but they're nice for what it is. Um, 
and the other two figures in the set I've uh, binned because I don't like them. So this will be it for this set. Next one in line is from Dragon. That is uh, this one. Which I had started it a couple of years ago, believe it or not. Put it in the, in the cupboard and now, uh, well, I'm going to finish it. So that will be the next one. And I'm also a bit, um, again, yeah. I saw a lot of nice Fit Tricks 28mm, which I'm going to start. And of course, uh, I still have some other sets, uh, the, the one in 35 Panther. And from a lot of videos ag ago, even even a year, the French figures from the French Prussian War, one in 35, uh, I want to finish them also. So that will be the priority. Um, okay, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please uh, drop a like or subscribe. And then uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, thank you. Bye.